All right, let's talk about our favorite dictator up north in Canada, uh, Justin Trudeau, who is, I think, trying to rewrite history. And he's right now actively trying to gaslight all of us um, about what his role was in COVID, about vaccines, tyranny, lockdowns, the whole nine yards. Well, he's pretending that he has always been super empathetic about people who had vaccine hesitancy, uh, that he was easy on those people. He had an understanding about it. Uh, this comes from a discussion last week with German President Frank Walter Steinmeier. We're going to play it and we may have to stop him because we just can't stand it to hear these lies. He's a weasel. And then we're going to show you, we're just going to rewind the tape and let him contradict his self. So let's let him speak if you can take it. Misinformation and disinformation is carrying people to believe things that are untrue. And vaccinations is a perfect example of it. Like any modern bit of medical advancements. There are potential side effects in vaccinations. Oh, thanks for telling us now. Really? There, you know, are people who've probably gotten very sick from vaccinations. Oh. Billions of people who've been vaccinated against COVID over the past few years. Hmm. There are far more people who obviously have died due to COVID. Died his, from not his body vaccinated. language is so like it's it, it's very it's condescending yeah it, and the it's, idea like so some people yeah so some sick. people some, some people, people got sick. Really sick these losers who got sick but yeah. you know what <laughs> <laughs> people can fly in the face of science well individuals are allowed to make their own choices there may be all sorts of different are they hesitant to get vaccinated but i make a distinction and i have always have yeah between someone choosing for personal reasons to choose not to get vaccinated and someone deliberately using misinformation what? to mislead and scare other people with so-called facts that aren't facts at all what the hell are you talking about? I don't know. So he's trying to draw these two distinctions between someone who doesn't want to get vaccinated for personal reasons. That personal reason could be because you read. <laughs> yeah, you're educated. Uh, and someone who uses misinformation not to get vaccinated. Now, that means that someone who uses misinformation is someone who uses information that the government doesn't like. That's really the only way to parse out these two groups of people. So these two unvaccinated groups, one group has personal reasons and the other group has things that they read that they find data points that the government doesn't like. That's the only way I can distinguish. So how is groups. that any different than so, personal reasons? <laughs> right? <laughs> well, because you, you got to show your work. It's like math class. You got to show your oh, work. You okay. may have got to the right answer, but you didn't do it the right way. So if the, <laughs> if the little old grandma over there is like, no, I just don't want to do it because I don't want to do it. He's fine with that. But if the other person over there, the other little old grandma is like, I don't want to do it because you know what? I've been watching the show Redacted and I've been learning and I've been seeing what this could do to my body. And so I don't want to do that. That's who he has a problem with. I suppose that's a tale of two grannies. Yeah, I'm just trying to find like sweet old grandmas as an example. And he's picking, he's just, he's deciding that because someone has information that the government doesn't like, that's a person that falls in this other second bucket. I suppose. And he's pretending that he was so empathetic and kind and gentle on these personal reasons groups. I never saw anything like that. I never saw any kindness to any distinction between anti people who did not want um, or refused to use the word anti-vaxxer. I hate it. Well, I mean, uh, they, yeah, he was they, even they definitely the were very who were. Do facts. Well, I was gonna say they were very gentle. They were very gentle when they seized those truckers' bank accounts mm -hmm. and and their PayPal's and like it was. They were very gentle about it. They were very nice. Like I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to take your money. I yeah, and it's to, personal. I have to. It's not personal, actually. They said. Yeah. So it's not a personal decision, I guess. That lead them to make a choice that endangers their lives and the lives of other citizens. Yeah. So those as prime minister, through the greatest public health crisis that we've faced in a hundred years in this country 
since the Spanish flu. My responsibility was to keep as many Canadians alive as possible. And all of the scientists and the medical experts and the researchers, not just in Canada, but around the world, understood that vaccination was going to be the way through this. Except for the ones that you didn't allow to speak, who completely contradicted your experts, all of the medical experts who were uh, allowed to testify before Congress, but then were banned and blocked on social media and deplatformed. What about those people? Or your World Economic Forum approved medical experts, your Klaus Schwab approved medical experts that were allowed to speak in Canada and not silenced. Those people? And therefore, while not forcing anyone to get vaccinated, I not forcing anyone, to make he says. sure that all the incentives and all the protections were there to encourage Canadians to get vaccinated. He never, he never asked anyone, never forced anyone to get vaccinated. That's I mean, he did. literally said, you will not travel this year to see any family members or for business if you're not vaccinated, except under some extreme exemptions. Yeah. He literally said, you're not going anywhere until, unless you have, so, okay, not forcing, right? But he certainly made life uncomfortable if you didn't want to. I mean, maybe he doesn't know the word, the meaning of the word encouraged. Like you keep using that word, but yeah. I don't think it means what you think it means. Right. Does he go on? A little bit longer. And that's exactly what they did. We got vaccinated to a higher level than just about any other of our peer countries. And that's why we had a less deadly pandemic than most other countries. Now here he's pretending how understanding he was about people who didn't want to get vaccinated for personal reasons. He never made that distinction during the heart of the pandemic. Here is a quote from uh, 2021. This is December of 2021. And he went on a French TV show, Western Standard. And so because I don't speak French, I'm going to show you the transcript of it. He says, we all know people who are deciding whether or not they are willing to get vaccinated. And we will do our best very best to try to convince them. However, there is still a part of the population that is fiercely against it. Now this, keep in mind, he's talking about a part of the population that doesn't want to get vaccinated. They don't believe in science pro progress. They are often very misogynistic and racist. So he here is saying that people who don't want to get vaccinated are often misogynist and racist. He says this leads us as a leader and as a country to make a choice. Do we tolerate these people? So he's saying he was super sensitive about it. Here he's asking himself if he should even tolerate their existence. Uh, he says over 80% of the population in Quebec have done their duty by getting the shot. They are obviously not the issue in this situation. So I don't think this is the language of someone who was sensitive to people who didn't want to get vaccinations for personal reasons. Um, he also said at the time of the trucker convoy that Canadians who protested vaccine mandates held unacceptable views and he called them fringe minority. Watch this. Canadians have stepped up to do the right thing to protect the freedoms and the rights of Canadians to get back to the things we love to do. We know the way through this pandemic is by getting everyone vaccinated. And the overwhelming majority, close to 90% of Canadians have done exactly that. The small fringe minority of people who are on their way to Ottawa or who are uh, holding unacceptable uh, views uh, that they're expressing. <laughs> they're holding unacceptable views. Do not represent the views of Canadians who have been there for each other, who know that following the science and stepping up to protect each other is the best way to continue to ensure our freedoms, our rights, our values as a country. Yeah, you communist. So these, va these opinions that we that we don't agree with these opinions that are unseemly. Right. Um, 
the fringe, the fringe minority. You guys are on the fringe. Well, he was so, you know, you're not following the science. But now when the Canadian government has been pushed about what science they use to instate certain mandates and travel lockdowns, they have not been able to show that they had science guiding those decisions in the first place. And in fact, if we could just skip the forward to the last video. Um, I want to show you this that he put forward, and we have never seen science on this. Um, here is Trudeau telling five year olds that once they have their five year birthday, they can have some cake and they can have a vaccine. And I'm wondering where he got that science while he was being so sensitive to people who may not have had the vaccine. Watch this. Um, you're going to be able to get your vaccine as soon as you turn five. Uh, and I know you're excited and I know you're eager. Uh, in some places across the country, you can even start making your appointment now uh, for shortly after your birthday. Oh my God, that makes me sick to my stomach. Yeah, hey like, little for you. Hey guys, here's the prime minister on a Zoom call here in this classroom. And I know you guys are super excited about getting your vaccines. Like the little five-year-olds are like, what? No, I, I want to. I want. I don't want to get a shot. No, no. I my play with play doh. My six year old got one of those finger prick tests last week just for a blood test and freaked out as if it were a scandal. There is nothing that any celebrity could say to get her excited about any vaccine, even if it were Justin Trudeau. Yeah, that would Eve would not hey, be very Eve, about that. Like she's he's there like a clown, like <laughs> at your kid's birthday party. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna do some juggling here, guys. We're gonna do some balloon animals, and you're gonna get your vaccine. Kids will like be like, what well, the and hell? Also, get me out of here! No, <laughs> creating division. With kids, we know kids tease each other about things like, anyway, I got my vaccination and you didn't. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? It's like, right. it, it's, oh. I don't know. If my daughter saw this video and be like, hey, Eve, guess who's on, you know, th this Zoom call, um, you know, to convince you to get your COVID vaccine. And then, like, I put her on, like, here, it's Justin Trudeau. This is what, what she did with <laughs> class at home a lot. She was like, nope. Yeah, she she's, would walk away. she's like, no way, I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, hey, Barack Obama is it has a is doing a Zoom a FaceTime call. Eve, Barack Obama wants to talk to you, and who's all right? Okay, Barack Obama, the president of the United States. Hi, Eve. It's it's Mr. President, President Obama. You are very lucky. You just turned five. You get to go and get your very first shot. She would go, uh, mommy, and she'd throw the phone yeah. down. No kid is excited they, that they, it's propaganda. They jabbed, they jabbed Elmo and Big Bird. Yeah. yeah, and they were paid to do that. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's like it made the U.S. taxpayers foot the bill for Sesame Street to do uh, to do COVID propaganda. Um, unbelievable. This weasel. So we will hold him accountable. He's trying to gaslight and rewrite history as to what his involvement was, of course, in uh, pushing vaccines and telling us all. And then, of course, calling you racist or misogynist if you didn't want to get it done. Thank you so much for watching this segment here at Redacted. We are live every day at 4 p.m. Eastern time trying to share the stories that the mainstream media will not cover. You should also come over and join our community of Redacted Rebels over at Redacted.inc. That's our private locals community where where we can share exclusive content that we simply cannot share here on YouTube. Come over and join the rebellion together right now by going to redacted.inc. We'll see you next time.